Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, as always, for tuning in to The Reckoning. As promised, these girls are getting their own episode. So these four girls have been making waves on the internet the last couple of days uh, after a video was taken of them uh, messing with, being nasty to, being obnoxious towards uh, these street vendors. You can see them picking food um, off the tray and throwing it, spitting, eating it, uh, berating these people. Just not great behavior. So um, this has become a big deal online. These girls have already been tracked down. The internet is furious. Um, So let's quickly, let's just review the initial footage that caused this uproar. Just to remind everyone just how gnarly this was So ever since this video uh, blew up a couple of days ago, um, these girls have been found, and apparently they're all SDSU students or former SDSU students. At least that was the uh, initial thought. So upon that, a bunch of people online started reaching out to SDSU saying, you got to address this. You got to do something. And sure enough, lo and behold, I checked their Instagram yesterday. And what do we have here but a three-part statement about this exact event on SDSU's Instagram. Now, that statement reads as follows. We have been made aware of the incident where several individuals spoke and acted inappropriately toward a food vendor who had set up on the SDSU campus. So this happened on the, I didn't know that actually. While several social media accounts initially reported otherwise, none of the individuals in the video are confirmed to be SDSU students. Further, while individual names have been shared online, at least one SDSU student and a student organization tagged by social media accounts reported being misidentified and not present in the video, and none of the remaining names shared are SDSU students. SDSU is in contact with other local universities and has confirmed with university officials that three individuals connected to the video are currently enrolled in colleges elsewhere, not SDSU. The behavior toward the food vendor is unacceptable and counter to expectations of human dignity. Wow. No person should be treated with this level of disrespect in the interest of accountability, no matter where a person is studying. Uh, SDSU continues to seek information about what happened and will share information with other universities. We continue to urge anyone with information about the incident and who can confirm identities of anyone who was involved to share details as soon as possible with SDSU's Center for Student Rights and Responsibilities via the online reporting form. As there were individuals in the video incorrectly identified, we caution all to rely on accurate sources of information and to only report and share information verified by legitimate sources and authorities. I guess the internet can be forgiven for thinking that they were SDSU students because this happened on SDSU campus, uh, but that's actually not true. So they're not SDSU students. And um, you might have also caught that they said they were, uh, these girls were being uh, misidentified as part of a organization on SDSU campus. That was a sorority uh, called Delta Gamma. And people were saying that they were part of this Delta Gamma sorority on in SDSU. They are in fact not. They are not part of DG. Uh, and apparently people have been uh, coming after DG, which uh, the woman who recorded this whole, whole video will talk about in a minute. But first, there is another part of this footage uh, that most people have not yet seen. Um, that was recorded shortly after this uh, and published by the street vendor, who has quite a bit to say on this as well, we'll get to that later, Uh, was published by the street vendor who was the victim of this tomfoolery. This is additional footage where one of the girls calls all street vendors illegals. I'm actually in the studio because I'm 
He's gonna charge you. Can you stop taking my things, please? Friends, I'm doing. Okay, take your friends and go home, please. Take your friends and go home. Hey, go. So obviously just when you thought that their behavior couldn't be any more obnoxious, it of course is. We also learn um, from the subtitle there that uh, this was over the fact that the hot dogs were $7. So this girl was furious that the hot dog was too expensive, I guess. She didn't want to pay $7. She said that this guy was screwing her over. So a lot of people speculated that's what started this thing, right? So. Uh, now let's go to the woman who recorded this video. I think she's she looks like she's right around the age of these girls, probably college age, junior, senior herself. Um, so she took to Twitter after posting this video, or sorry, not Twitter, TikTok, uh, after this bl totally blew up, went viral, uh, and people started hunting for these girls' names uh, and, and internet justice, she came out with a series of TikTok videos explaining her perspective and exactly what happened. I think they are vital to this story. Okay, everyone wants to know what happened in my last video, so I'm just gonna kind of explain it. I don't have an update for you because I don't know what happened to these girls. As far as you guys tagging Delta Gamma, I don't think a single one of these girls is in Delta Gamma. I know that one of the girls was in AKIO at Cal State San Marcos last year, but she's not a part of it anymore. Two of the girls go to San Marcos. The other two, I think they go to San Diego State, but they don't all go to state. For everyone saying, like, why'd you just stand there and record? That was a 30 second video before this escalated. For the people who are commenting and DMing me and like sending me hateful things, I wasn't in that video. I just want to make that clear. I took the video. I don't know the girls who are in the video. That was my first time ever seeing them, and I do not support their actions, their behavior, their attitudes, any of it whatsoever. I don't know how someone could have possibly misunderstood that the person who was obviously recording this terrible behavior was recording it because it was terrible and they were trying to expose it. Why else would you put this video out? So if you thought that, I don't know what's going through your head. I really think that karma is doing a great job at punishing and giving these girls the consequences they deserve. So as much as I wanted to put my hands on them, and as much as everyone's saying you should have swung, you should have, I would have had them on the ground. Yes, everybody's a fighter on the internet. Come on. Is this your first day online? I would have loved that, but karma is beating them up. I'd much rather just show the world how these girls go out in public and act than get myself involved and punch them and get myself in trouble. The hot dog vendor is also the sweetest man. So if you want to send him a Venmo, his Venmo is ice cream 22. The vendor did nothing to provoke this. It was just the girls coming into it angry and drunk and ready to start something. Also, I mean, for everyone saying that we should have said something, we did. After this video, we did say something. I know a lot of people are also reposting my video, and so I'm getting tagged in it, and people are getting confused thinking that I'm the girl in the video. No, I'm the girl who took the video. So for everyone sending me hate and sending me rude things, I was not a part of this. I love the hot dog guy. Andreas is there every weekend. He is always selling his hot dogs for the same price, never has any problems. As far as what happened to these girls and what's happening with them, I have no idea. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen them. If I hear anything, I'll update you, but I don't know. I know that you guys found them on Instagram and TikTok and a lot of them deleted their accounts. Also, one of the girls in the video, she found my phone number from my Instagram, which I took out now because everyone's going crazy thinking it was me in the video. But she called me like 50 times yesterday telling me to delete the video. She doesn't want to be seen. I'm flabbergasted. She thought that would work, but then again. So yeah, karma's- When I was first recording the video, I was just recording it on Snapchat. Like it wasn't meant to go anywhere. So yeah, I wasn't going to post this, but the little in white wanted to say to me about me and about my friends. So I decided that I'm going to post the video. And if anyone sees the video, I guess she'll get what she deserves. And people did see the video, so... Aww. So obviously that's absolutely fantastic. She wasn't even planning to post this video that is now ruining these girls' li Well, okay, let's be fair. They are ruining their own lives by treating people terribly 
in public where people can easily record you and it's not illegal to post it on the internet as has been done now. So they ruin their own lives, just to be clear. But the reason that this is happening to them is not just because they did that. Nobody would have ever seen their terrible behavior had they not then turned around and been rude to this girl and her friends. It sounds like they started trying to bully these girls, uh, which is obviously very foolish. And then one had the audacity to try to get her to remove it afterwards. So that is a really juicy bit of tea, a bit of info there uh, that I was not aware of before. Now, happily, we have another update from this girl uh, shortly after. This is probably my last video about the whole vendor situation. I just wanted to say that you guys need to leave SDSU Delta Gamma and Cal State San Marcos AKO alone because none of the girls are affiliated whatsoever with either of these sororities. Also, as far as the girl Ella Markey, she's not in the video. It's been confirmed that that was not her. So for everyone sending her death threats and hate and harassment, it's not her. You have the wrong girl. Same with both of these sororities. Stop harassing them. Stop sending them hate. Stop sending them death threats because they have nothing to do with any of these girls. Last thing, the only information I have about the girls in the video is that I talked to the dean from the school and they're working on sorting it out, figuring it out. Apparently they know who the girls are and they're working on a safety plan to make sure they're safe. This story's gotten so big in the last couple of days that even NBC San Diego, not a small uh, local publication in San Diego, uh, is even writing stories on this now. So obviously everybody wants to know who these girls are and everybody seems to have been ruled out. We know who they're not, but who are they? I also want to point out that uh, a guy named, a uh, uh, TikTok guy named Dinesh, that Dinesh guy, he does stories kind of similar to mine, right? Uh, so he says that the girl in the pink was not a part of this group. She was friends with the girl who we just watched, this girl right here who recorded the video, and she was actually telling them to stop. So she wasn't part of this. Um, but more importantly, he also confirms, and he says this is a hundred percent and lays out how he found them. Uh, but he says their names are Brianna Peelman, Ariana Rasuli, Victoria Olenik, and Marsal Hader. Now, apparently, Marsal Hader uh, went so far as to text. Uh, she, I, she may have actually been the one that she was talking about who said she called me 50 times. She was telling me to take it down, take it down, take it down. Um, so that may have been Marcel Hader, uh, and apparently she was sending all kinds of nasty legal threats to the girl that we just watched who originally recorded this. So now let's head over to the street vendors TikTok where he gives his side of the story in his own words. He seems to think that there is a racial component to this. And given that the comment that that girl made at the end about, oh, they're all illegals or whatever she said. You know, I I can see why he would draw that conclusion. Pero pues aquí estoy viviendo yo en San Diego. Wow. Entonces la much dime que la muchacha te decía que no quería pagar siete dólares por el auto y ese es tu precio, ¿no? Sí, ese es mi precio y pues ellas por sus huevos quieren que se los dé más baratos. Yo digo, ¿por qué te voy a regalar mi trabajo? Les digo, si no quieres pagar. Adelante, ve a comer otro lado, no sé, haz lo que tú quieras, pero pues no me molestes más. Es lo que yo les decía. Sí, ¿y por cuánto tiempo te estaban ahí molestando? Estuvieron como 40 minutos en más de poco. Wow. Pues, lo único que querían es llamar la atención de las demás personas, yo creo. No sé qué querían, la verdad. Ni si, yo creo que ni, ni siquiera estaban ahí por los hot dogs, aunque se los hubiera regalado hubieran seguido haciéndome un desmadre. Entonces conseguí ese lugar. Ya tengo, ya tengo como yo creo que unos seis meses en ese lugar. Y ahí sí no me molestan. La policía todo bien, me deja hacer ahí. La ciudad, no, los, los maestros, los alumnos, ya todos me conocen. Ahorita le va a decir la raza que eres tú del, del Venmo para que te apoye y pues a cualquier cosita que tú necesitas, ahí vamos a estar. Um, a la próxima, ojalá pronto vaya a San Diego. Hemos ido a San Diego a ayudar a vendedores ambulantes. As you see, that was Jose Andres. If you'd like to help him out, that's his Venmo. And those girls are from San Diego State Delta Gamma fraternity. And they no, they're not, sir. We learned that's false. Uh, so that guy was totally mistaken there. 
These are not SDSU students and they're not part of Delta Gamma. We'll be held accountable. Shout out to that Danish guy for helping and finding them too. He's amazing at what he does. Protect street vendors. And in case you're just listening to this video so you didn't understand any of what they just said, uh, he's basically saying that these girls harassed him like this for about 40 minutes. Uh, and as I had said before early in the video, uh, this apparently was about the price of the hot dog. They didn't want to pay the $7 for the hot dog. Um, and he told them to basically take a hike if they didn't like it and go somewhere else. Uh, and that devolved into this whole thing. And so far, it looks like at least one of these girls is gonna have to face the music, and I have no doubt with the rage that the community is whipping up for these girls, uh, that it will probably end up the same way for all of them. But in the case of Ariana Razuli, uh, it was found that she apparently works at a branch of Yoga 6, which is ob obviously a yoga studio. Uh, so after being bombarded by people saying, um, are you aware that this girl that's working for you is acting like this? They released a say statement on Twitter that said, quote, Conduct seen by this employee does not reflect Yoga 6's values or standards, and we do not tolerate this kind of behavior in our studios. Since we were made aware, we have alerted our local franchise owner and are working together to address the situation. They additionally said in a separate statement that they found Razuli's behavior intolerable and were planning to take disciplinary action against that employee. Um, so it's only a matter of time before the... Uh, before the just desserts comes for them all, but um, we will have to wait and see in the meantime, and I will definitely update you should uh, the other three get into any more trouble, which, as I said, they probably will. So that's what we have so far. Uh, things are not looking good for them, but they are looking good for internet justice. Thank you, and good night.